Ah, uh, hey, welcome back, every one. No, are you want to talk? I can't even talk. You want to talk to some cops today, everyone? Can you ever? <laughs> I highly doubt I'll find a clue in here, but I might as well check just to be sure. Mm, this barrel sure is heavy. You there? Do you know what's inside of this thing? It's the emergency water supply for putting out fires. We also have a very similar voice. I see. Well, they certainly are well prepared. I was looking at this cat thing here, but all right, whatever. I just want whatever. No, the cat's not real. Excuse me, but if you could just let me through here. Sorry, I can't let anyone through. Agent Lang's orders. Nay. No. I suppose I'll have to deal with this impasse for now. If you say so, Edward. Excuse me, okay. Same exact thing. Go figure, right? Wait, this is examinable? This horizontal bar is used for tying up horses. Apparently you can ride real horses at the Cowboys Ranch area just up ahead. Is it possible that the culprits have already escaped with the help of a stolen horse or two? Is this Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> you never know. Under Agent Lang's orders, we already rounded up all the horses. And every last one has been accounted for. Is this a serious freaking line of di uh, line of logic? I, I... You never know, man. You never know. Agent Lang is good. Although, I won't go so far as to say I'm impressed just yet. Well, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really impressed yet either. I gotta see results. And so far, I have not seen results yet. So four? What? So four? So four? So far, you have not seen results. I said, therefore, didn't I? You said, so far. <laughs> so, so far, I have not seen results. You, you were supposed to say, so far. I don't know where you got, therefore. I don't know. I'm confused now. It's an empty barrel. You clearly weren't an English major. <laughs> I venture to guess that the only purpose is to set the mood. Indeed. It's a cactus, and there's something written here on the sign. This cactus is a very gracious gift to Gatewater Land from the local police precinct. Nope. I can't. I can't. Man. Believe the police went. I can't believe the police so far as what? to even. Do <laughs> went so far as to even donate a cactus to this place. Yeah, that is a very interesting thing, though, isn't it? Precinct. Precinct. Well, that precinct is pretty cool. Isn't hey, you it did it! Hey! Uh, 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 uh. Dude, it's the freaking tracks on the ground. Why didn't you just try for that? I was, like, walking over, like, several times. I was confused what the heck was going on right there. So, I thought it was, like, something off screen that I was getting a hitbox on. I was like, what? Oh so, wait, actually, like somebody, somebody's gonna get introduced soon. I remember this. What? No. No, Some I just sort of... know. I just know this one part. Just okay. because. Just because I know it's gonna be something that's funny. Some sort of tracks were left in the mud here thanks to the rain. They look like tire tracks. Too bad they're destroying the Wild West atmosphere they worked so hard to create. I can put so much emphasis on the O. <laughs> I don't know, man. Atmosphere. Atmosphere, whatever. You know, that's, that's how I normally say it, but... Yeah, I know, it's just weird. I know, because I've heard you say it before. It's, it's just weird that you put Edward so much emphasis. man. The tires on whatever What's the matter, be... right? What's the matter? These probably got pretty muddy as well. But Wright has no idea what's happened right there. Excuse me, but if you could just let me through here. Yeah, sorry. you have seen this. Sorry, I can't let you through. This is the other officers can't let you through. Also, stop walking through me, Edgeworth, please. Also, you're already past him. Am I? Oh, you, I am. Yeah, you were walking past him. Horses are painted on the garage door to complete the Wild West theme. They almost look like they're ready to jump out onto, into the real world, and gallop away. Almost being the key word. Huh. If you say so. What's up, man? Whoa, 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 whoa,
Da, 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 da. Are you okay? I wasn't expecting to have a legitimate conversation with yeah, this, this guy. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Dang it! <laughs> this better not advance the plot, because otherwise I'm going to be upset. <laughs> that wriggling... I just can't bring myself to call it dancing. Oh. Good talk. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm confused, man. I am just... It's just waving side to side. I'm just lost. It's an old-fashioned rocking chair, the kind that makes you feel instantly at ease. There's something written here. A soothing 10 minutes sitting for only a hundred dollars. I see. Reverse psychology. Make it so expensive that no one would dare sit on it. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a pretty good logic they use right there. I uh, can even walk up there. I wanna walk up there though. No, who gives uh, a crap? Alright, who do I talk to? You? Man, I can't calmly steal anything without detective around. Oh, it's this song again. It sounded different because I didn't I didn't recall the intro for some reason. I suppose it's not easy when there's this many members of law enforcement in this vicinity. It's alright, it's not like I'm in a hurry to steal any just any old thing. Which is it? Do you plan to steal something or not? Quite the mystery, this one. Maybe I should talk with her a bit more. Can you not? I think I will not. I'll talk to Gumshoe first. Great job, detective. Sir! For losing sight of me and the kidnapper and allowing my investigation to be hijacked. I, sir! I look forward to your next month's salary assessment. <laughs> but, but the case isn't lost yet, sir. I'm gonna show you just how much of a man Dick Gumshoe can be. Shall I prepare the 21 gun salute now or later? Mm, Alright. Uh, okay, don't do that. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and talk to you. Then. If you're gonna show me your prosecutor's badge, and I'll show you my police badge. Is this your a wall dick measuring contest? <laughs> your wallet is looking rather thin, detective. Huh? Oh, whoops, I must have left my badge at home. I always get the two mixed up. Haha. <laughs> Alright. I mean, we did say before in case one that they kind of look the same, so... Why not bring them both with you then? I mean, that's what makes it a little bit more confusing there. Why would he leave home without his wallet? Yeah, I don't know. It's not a laughing matter, detective. Hmm. What do we gotta say about that? Gay Waterland! Who would have guessed this place would be such a success? But the Gay Water Group and I go way back, you know. Yes, same here. I handled two murder cases that took place at two of their hotels. And it was you who headed the investigation in each case. Oh, I remember that, sir. I was 16 back then, standing in front of the hotel in the snow. Clearly, we are yeah, not what? on the same page here. He, he was, is he implying he was a detective when he was 16? <laughs> if so, I'm impressed. You actually got a copy, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, can you show me the very last page? Which makes you wonder, if he started with such a young age, if he really did, that is, then why did he not get any better? <laughs> Gatewater Hotel, is that where the, um, is that where April May was staying? You mean in the first game? Yeah. It was also where that, uh, I think the last case of the second game took place, if I'm not mistaken? The one with the, the unguard guy? Mm. Yeah, I think, I, I think, I don't know. The same thing, I think. Well, he did say there was two cases, and was was Edgeworth in the last case of uh, the second game? Uh. He said he headed up two cases in the Gatewater hotels. I think he did, actually. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think he did because. This is what I remember. Spoilers if you haven't played the second game. I mean, you, I don't know why you're watching if you haven't played the second game or seen it. But uh, in the second game, the, the Francisca von Karma gets shot. So I think Edgeworth, if I'm not mistaken, was the one that replaced her for that case. So yeah, yeah, that would that would make sense actually. Two cases. Obviously, the better choice. <laughs> Thank goodness nothing bad happened to her other than her just getting shot, and she still helped in the end too. So go figure. 
Uh, go figure, a bullet wound doesn't really wound a person. Well, also, I was looking at the comments, and everybody agrees with me that Gavin sucks, and freaking the top two are Edgeworth and Black Quill. Everyone's a hater, man, and also I haven't <laughs> played that, so it doesn't count yet for me. <laughs> I just think it's funny that everybody agreed with me. Clavier, man, he's gonna rock, and you are going to have your socks knocked off in the process. Just you wait, everyone. Then I'll call you all hair forehead. Moving or on. Something, yeah, anyway. <laughs> The last page, very well. Let's see here. Interesting. Why is your name listed here under special thanks? That's it, sir, you found it! Oh, um... That's because I did the choreo er, choreography for the Dance Dance Blue Badger song. I suspect that no one entrusts him with any real responsibilities at work. I... You do? No, he doesn't. He does? <laughs> He literally oh. just had him heading up the freaking backup for a ransom case. Well, see, that was Edgeworth's mistake right there. Regardless, I, th I said that freaking Edgeworth does trust him with stuff like this. Maybe Edgeworth is just as stupid as Gumshoe, <laughs> and we just didn't realize it. Oh, are you participating in the photo rally too, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, I mean, I'm the only one doing it as far as my duties, yeah. What? None of that sentence was freaking, like, understandable. <laughs> I see. In that case, keep up the good work. So how many have you found so far? I've been sort of busy with the investigation, so I haven't really found any yet, sir. <laughs> I said but, but not sir. But I know. Something tells me finding the badgers isn't really a part of his duties. Why do you so say sad. that? Why do you say that? I'm sorry, sir. Absolutely nothing is coming to mind right now. As a man, the only thing I can attest to is this. To be a man, I dig gumshoe will tell no lie. His heart's in the right place. Now to work on his deduction skills. Don't worry, I'm just gonna pull this badger head out of my pocket. <laughs> Detective, are you sure it was the precinct that you could Nope. <laughs> Every time I say it, I realize I said it wrong, and it's like, oh, I... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> And then I know you're gonna say something, and like, I'm just preparing myself for it. <laughs> you called for backup. Of course, sir! I think I would know the number of my own precinct! Uh, like the back of was, my hand. Just because it was fresh in your mind. Then why did the Interpol agent show up instead with an army of his own agents? That I have no idea. About five minutes after I made the call, the Wolfman showed up out of nowhere, sir. He is a wolf, idiot. <laughs> I guess it's the truth, after all. Agent Lang definitely has an agenda. So the question is, what is he after? Why'd you, I... put, why'd you do like a hard A sound on agenda? It wasn't that bad, jeez. <laughs> no, it wasn't, it's just something interesting. I mean, again, that was not intentional, just like atmosphere wasn't really intentional <laughs> either, but... That's what I do, I call people out. Like, it wasn't... It wasn't that crazy, I guess. It wasn't Zaria. That's really bad. I'm just crapping on Mega now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I was wondering if I may ask about one thing, sir. Do you say Saria or Saria? Yes, what is it? Yeah, you um, know, good old, good old Mario and Luigi. <laughs> um, who is that? Uh, who, yeah, who is that? The girl over there, I mean. I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant, Kay Faraday. What? Funny, I don't recall making you my assistant, Kay. Yeah, I'm Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. Me! It's been like that since forever. Sorry, but I just stole your supporting role. How can you say something so serious with that giant grin on your face, pal? Mr. Edgeworth, we've got a thief on our hands, sir. She stole my role, sir. I'm taking her in, getting her convicted, and making sure she serves out her sentence. Oh, come on, it'll be fun, like musical chairs. You better stay fast on your feet. No way! I won't! I will not lose a spotlight to you, little girl! <laughs> Alright. Okay, then. That's How old is Edgeworth? Or, uh, Edgeworth. How old is Gumshoe? <laughs> Look in your organizer. Uh, 32? You just magically have people's ages, yeah. He's almost twice her age, and he's fighting with her. Well, nothing unusual there, anyway. 
Hey, what's up? Now I'm gonna present some evidence to you. If I had one of these, I'd be a prosecutor too, right? Don't even think of stealing this from me. If it's that important to you, why don't you wear it on your lapel? Well, that was lapel. Of course you did. Gosh dang it! Well, anyway, I mean, that would actually be accurate, too. If she did steal that, she could be a prosecutor. In a no! Court. That's in not this, how it works. In this universe, it's possible. It is possible. Only if the judge is an idiot. Well, every, every judge... judge is apparently an idiot. Yeah, because, I mean, they fell for a freaking cardboard cutout as a freaking attorney's badge once. It's like, okay. And they thought they were Phoenix Wright, so it's like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, you did already. Why should I have to label myself as a prosecutor everywhere I go? And why does everyone ask that a question of me? What? Why does everyone ask that question of me? That's what ID I. What? Oh, that's, that's what, what I'd, I'd like to know, like to know, you know. freaking moron. <laughs> Capitalize, I was confused. Well, because he, he's putting emphasis on it. Yeah, yeah, ID, man. I really love theme parks. Too bad we're not here to have fun, have a fun time. So why did you choose this one, and why choose to show yourself to me of all people? Because I was telling you, silly. Duh. You were following me, but what? It's a book of information about my arch enemy, the Blue Badger. But I won't lose to the likes of him. You just wait and see. I'm gonna write a tome of thievery. How's that, Mr. Edgeworth? The information that winds up on your wanted poster will suffice in this competition. Okay, if you say so, Edward. Come on, the Badger family's waiting us, waiting for us to find and take pictures of them. And remember, you have to yell Badger get each time or it doesn't count. That's very Japanese. Really? Yeah. They even have a rule for when you take their pictures. Tell me about it. I was planning to steal all of my shots as any proper great thief should. The concept of stealing permeates every aspect. Hey, there you go. Not that hard, man. Not that hard. What every you aspect, were talking about? Every aspect of this girl's life. Mr. Laypole. Why? Well, it's not that unreasonable to say Laypole in that situation, especially if you've never seen that word before or heard <sighs> it pronounced. I probably might have seen it, but I've never heard it pronounced. I don't know. Also, why does she have a key in her hair? Because she's a thief. She unlocks things. Oh! <laughs> what do you think about this? If you're going to steal anything, at least keep your hands off of my lines. <laughs> alright, alright, I'll return it to you. Here you go. I was hoping for some information in return, but my line will do for now. That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I suppose it was! So what are you going to do about your investigation into the kidnapping? Good question. Since Agent Lang holds the authority to investigate this case now, this makes things a bit more complicated. Oh, come on. You can't let that stop you. I'll even lend you a hand, so let's go. But you're a self-purported great thief, are you not? I don't believe I can let uh... someone of an unlawful nature or participate in an investigation. You don't like to listen, do you? I'm not just any ordinary great thief, I'm Yadagrasu! And as I said earlier, Yadagrasu is after one thing and one thing only. Oh really now? One and only one. I, I'm not saying that because it sounds stupid. What? Why not? Say one what? and only one sounds stupid. Oh. Okay. Well, what is this one and only one thing you're after? Yadagrasu is only interested in one thing, and that's the truth. I see. He looks very serious there. Because the truth is always serious. It was seven years ago. There is always only one truth. There was a vigilante who threw the business Vigilante. World. What? Uh, it's like I said before, it's just funny hearing you say that. Who threw I don't know the if it's business right or wrong. into a panic. I don't know if it's right or wrong, it's just Wait, funny to what's hear the it. other way you say it? I've only ever heard people say vigilante. Vigilante? Yeah. Vigilante. Vigilante? I don't know. It's like, it's like the freaking guy from Soul Calibur saying someone's name. Yeah. Vigilante! Vigilante, man. 
Labeled mysterious and phantom-like, the Yatagarasu appeared and vanished at will. Though we still don't know how much about know much about this thief's what? ultimate goal. We do know the targets. The Yatagarasu like to find and make public evidence of corrupt dealings of all sorts. Once a target was chosen, no dramatic calling card or announcement was sent forth. So Okay, and that's not like that other great thief then. Uh, what, Kaito the kid? What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that's, just, that's just the second uh, Detective Conan reference I've made in this episode. What was his name? Mask the Mask or something like that? <laughs> something like that. I don't freaking know. It said the Chosen Corporation, that has to be right, otherwise I don't know where I would have gotten the name from, was infiltrated without even the target noticing. They Some got kind of days... lazy with that. He's like, Mask the Mask and Shelly the Killer. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Johnny the Fireman. Johnny the Fireman. Just the guy's name and then what they do. Oh, I was like, I was like, what is like? Oh, okay, what? I don't remember anyone with that name. <laughs> Some days later, the evidence that was found was sent out to the mass media, along with a card with the mark of a three-legged, a three-egged raven. <laughs> Close enough, man. Looking back, I suppose you could call what the Yadagarasu was stealing the truth. Could this child really be the successor to the original Yadagarasu? But that can't be, can it? Good talk. Lance, Lance, where are you, son? Lance, man! <laughs> that music, though. Reminds me of, a uh, tropical island music. He's got the... Hey Hachi hair! <laughs> he does a little bit. That ear! <laughs> like, he put, like, a like a, a fishing lure in his earlobe. It's freaking weird. I was gonna say, this music kind of reminds me of, like, island music in the Mario series a little bit. <laughs> kind of weird, actually. <laughs> Mr. Romano. Oh, Miles, my boy. I'm so sorry to involve you in, in such an affair just after you've returned. For you, Mr. Romano, I gladly offer my assistance. After all, I have you to thank for how well things turned out during my time abroad. If it wasn't for you, I might not have been introduced to that law office, and had the chance to study the inner workings of another country's judicial system. No, no, no. Think nothing of it. As you know, Manfred and I go way back. Manfred? <laughs> really? Apparently so. How does this guy and that guy- 10 second pause. You can still read this. I don't care. Read it! No. <laughs> I consider a beloved disciple of his to be like one of my own blood. Dot 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 dot. If you ever want to go overseas again, you need only to ask. I can use my company's vast network to send you anywhere at any time. So who's the old man? He's the father of the currently kidnapped Lance Amano Ernest Amano. <laughs> there it is again. Now then, have you found Lance yet, Miles? Please, I miss my poor boy dearly. I'm terribly sorry, but your son's whereabouts remain unknown, Mr. Amano. Well, hold on there. Then what happened to all that money? I believe the one million has been stolen, and that the culprits are now on the run. What? Poor old man. Don't you have anything you could give him to cheer him up, Mr. Edgeworth? Forgive me, Mr. Amano. Well, this is not what I was expecting. I was not expecting this guy to have some relationship to Manfred von Karma, of all people. <laughs> Like, for Pete's sake, how would those two get along? It's like, yeah, this guy's like, you yeah, know, I'm a random, like, regular person. I'm like, not regular, but, you know. Like, I mean, he's obviously a rich guy. He's either a very sad person or just a very normal person, so... Watch him end up being, like, a crime lord or something. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> he's a friend of Von Karma, after all. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Oops. <laughs> Alright, good talk. 
Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, now he's not, he's not counting his money anymore. He looks anyway. slightly more happy. Ah, uh, seeing that badge reminds me of Manfred. No, he was one fine prosecutor, the best of the best. Yes, I can't disagree with you there. Hmm, I sense you don't really want to talk about him. How I feel about him, it's hard for me to be truthful about that with another person. Your hard countenance. I don't know what you're thinking or feeling. But mark my words, I think you are Manfred's true successor. I really do. This voice is kind of... Kind of like the guy from Tales of Graces that, uh, or Tales... I always say Graces when I mean Exilia now. The, the guy that, uh, freaking... Rowing? Dis the Rose, Dis the Rose is playing. Dis the Rose is playing... What? Yeah, his voice. I can't remember his freaking name. Oh, the guy Dylan. Yeah. I, I was like, who the heck are you talking about? Like, these voice is a little bit like that, for some dot, reason. Dot, 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 dot. Is it? A little bit. Oh, that looks like something with quite a bit of value. But then, all things have some value attached to them. Only by probing deep into the unknown can we become true winners in this world, Miles. Thanks, all right. but knowledge isn't what's going to make me a winner here. That was it's... oddly prophetic for some reason. It's information. Why was that? I don't know. I'm a little bit confused, but oh well. So, anything to say about this head? Nothing at all, man. Uh, you just wanted to talk about your badge. I was wondering if you could please tell me the details of the kidnapping one more time. Oh, it was yesterday. A call came to the house. From the receiver came the sound of my son. Help me, Daddy. I know this is tough, but please stay with me here, Mr. Romano. You don't understand. He hasn't called me daddy in ages. It was incredibly moving. I wish I had recorded him saying that. That's a bit creepy. <laughs> well, wait, I mean... Uh, I'm confused, whatever. You definitely should have recorded that conversation. But not for the foolish sentimentalities of an old man. Lance Emano. Refresh my memory, what kind of person is Lance again? I will telling you about Lance help you get him back. Surprisingly, a lot can be deduced from a person's relationships and behavior. Very well, then. Lance is my one and only son. He turned 21 this year. He is very much like me when I was his age. Very kind and attractive. Are you coming on to your own son? <laughs> I'm sure women simply can't keep their hands off of him. You can say things like I that. I know, it was a joke. <laughs> Is there anything else about him you notice of late? Now that you mention it, I haven't been able to get in contact with our butler, Oliver. Boy, those Skype cutouts sound really awkward right now. <laughs> Your butler? Well, I mean, that's gonna be in the freaking room. Yep. Recording. Great. But the funny thing is, I can you're still uninterrupted. It's just like there's a weird gap in you finishing the word. So you were just like re recording <laughs> and then like it's just like nothing happened like are we am i in the future am i in the past like what happened i'm confused this guy now. trying to catch up to the conversation oh jeez. okay i didn't read that oh you didn't his name was oliver i think he said deacon i don't know i He's thought you read that already family for years now he gets along so well with lance so i thought maybe he would know where my son is oliver deacon you know what I said? Uh, I'm sure one can see that. Here we go. Now you mention it. Okay, there you go. Now you can read that. <laughs> I already read this one. No, you. Oh wait. The, you said... It's the next line. Oh. Okay. Yes, his name is Oliver Deacon. There you go. <laughs> Idiot. Well, it said Oliver, so I got confused right there. I was like, where'd you get the name Deacon? I didn't see that. Mr. Amano, can you please tell me a little more about the your butler, Mr. Deacon? As a butler, he's outstanding. He even serves as Lance's personal private tutor. He took a brief leave recently, but even after it was over, I still haven't been able to reach him. So you still haven't spoken with him since his leave? What about his family and friends? They said they hadn't seen him. I tried everything I could think of, Miles. 
you think this could have something to do with Lance's kidnapping? It's possible, but I can't say anything for sure quite yet. So even the person closest to the victim has gone missing. Oliver Deacon. Sounds like one name I had better keep in mind. Detective Gumshoe. Many ellipses. Yes, sir! Let's begin our investigation. Even if that Interpol agent holds the authority to head this investigation, we can't allow ourselves to stand idly by, twiddling our thumbs. I'm with you 100%, Mr. Edward, sir. Poke, 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 poke. I did Gumshoe, pledge to stick by your side through all poke, the poking poke, thick poke. and thin. Mr. Romano, it was my fault that the culprits escaped. Which is why, with your blessing, I vow to return Lance to you myself. Oh, I have never seen you so passionate before, Miles. Good luck to you, my boy. Alright, well, what are you waiting for? Let's do some investigating. If you think I'm losing you, pal, forget it! Ah, uh, I wonder who's gonna win. Nice gloves. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. While He's sitting while... in the $100 chair. Oh my gosh. He is. He's, he's... I almost said hitting. He's sitting in the chair. <laughs> I can, he's beating I... the crap out of the chair. <laughs> wild, wild west area. So what should we examine first? Hmm. Thanks to Agent Lang, we can't leave this area. But the culprits were here until only very recently which means we may be able to find some clues that will tell us how they escaped. Okay, let's get going. Let's get looking. Hey, you there! Who, me? What are you doing goofing off in a place like this? I wasn't goofing off, I was about to help Mr. Edgeworth kicking off his investigation. You imbecile! All precinct detectives nope. are now under- Agent Lang's direct command. No way! I am not working for that wolf boy. Mr. Edgeworth, can't you do something? Dot 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 I'm not exactly in a position to argue, seeing as how you are a member of the police. Good. Wait. Good. Now let's go. No. Boy, have I got just the job for someone of your talents. Well, that was exciting. Dot 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 dot. Okay. What? Can't you tell I'm ready to get? What? Can't you tell I'm all ready to get down to some de detective work? You should go home. Your parents must be worried about you. Oh come on! I finally get to be your assistant, and now you try to ditch me? I don't recall offering you the position. Don't yawn in my face, you prick. <laughs> Why do you have to be so difficult? Besides, it's already too late, you know? Like I said, I've already stolen the position of assistant a while back. Huh. You're the only one asserting that. Well, by the time anyone notices, it's already gone. That's the other cross away. Ran out of breath. You speak so lightly of things you know nothing about. Fine, whatever. You win. Go ahead and do your little investigation. But when... But the talented assistant K is gonna tag along no matter what you say. Even if she turns out to be useless, she's not going to listen to me. Even I thought he was going to say, even if she turns out to be useless, she's still going to be better than Gumshoe. <laughs> I might as well surrender and let her come along for the ride. Well, he should have said something like that. Oh well, he didn't. And that's why it's rather unfortunate. But anyway, though, everyone, we are at the end of today's episode! So... It sounded like your voice cracked and you just decided to go with... <sighs> To go I with just it. felt like talking like this for no reason. Uh, well, we'll do some investigating. I don't know what's going to be available to us, but we'll see. Shut up and end the episode already. My god. Very, very soon. You're still guarding the place. No.